In today's video, we've got a SIG 226, but it's not just any 226. This is the Mark 25. This has been adopted by the US Navy SEALs. This gun has been reserved for the elite. Today, I've got one. Stick around, because we're gonna have fu 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 fun Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell, and by now, you probably know that. Anyway, we want to thank all of those that have been sticking with us and helping us get good traction. And if you haven't done it already, hit the like, the share, and subscribe button so you'll never miss an episode. Today is something special. We've got the SIG 226 Mark 25. Now, this used to be reserved for the elite, but now it's actually available to the public, and it has been for a couple of years. Now, this is the SIG 226 Mark 25, and the SIG 226 was good. This is better. What really separates this from the other 226 is the fact that this comes what they call a proprietary nitron finish. And what the nitron finish does is it gives you great anti-corrosion properties just in case you decide you want to go swimming with this in salt water. I really don't plan on doing that, but if I am gonna be paddling around in my kayak down in Newport's Back Bay, it could happen, just saying. So anyway, this is the SIG 226. What you've got is you've got an alloy frame, nice lightweight, and you have got a stainless steel slide that's coated with a nitron finish. And the nitron finish is basically put on everything that might corrode. The, uh, the frame itself, made out of the alloy, has a hard black anodized finish. It comes with a four and a half inch barrel. Um, you can get these um, with a, a 15 round mag. You can also get extensions, like this one here in particular because for some of us, 15 rounds just isn't enough to bring to the party. You want to bring a little bit more. And uh, the P226 was actually um, went up against the uh, Beretta 92 back in the day when the US military was considering going after a new sidearm, but the unit cost of the Beretta was just a little bit lower. However, the SIG, it's a top end product. Um, it, it also has the beautiful ergonomics that SIG is known for. And this is the type of pistol with this grip, it literally just melts into your hand. It becomes an extension of you. Um, it also is a conventional um, double action. And what that means is, is that the, the gun can fire in two different modes. When the hammer is back, the hammer or, or the trigger performs one function it releases the hammer, but it also works in double action where it cocks and also releases it. Now, this right here is your slide lock and it's gonna lock open on an empty magazine, giving you a clue that it's fed and it wants it's hungry again. It also acts as your slide release. This right here is what's known as a decocker. And what this is done to do is this is to de-escalate the pistol from a very light trigger pull in single action down to double action. So if you need to take a pause, you can de-escalate the gun and it'll uh, make it uh, very safe because you don't have to worry about it going off from a very light trigger pressure. Now, um, what I recommend, because this is a traditional double action, is you've really got to get used to both modes of fire. So get in the habit of shooting two shot strings, meaning your first shot will be a long double action and the follow-ups are going to be a single action. Um, it also comes on top with a loaded chamber ind indicator that will pop up and you can feel that to see what your condition is, whether or not you've got a round in the chamber. It also has high visibility three dot sights, which I'm already a big fan of. It also comes with an accessory rail for a light, a laser, a cappuccino maker, whatever you want to hook up to it. Just remember that lighter is better 
And I generally prefer a, a light, a white light, that allows me to identify my targets rather than a laser that just gives you, you know, the dot as a point of reference. Um, the magazine release is in a conventional place just below your thumb. This would be your takedown lever for disassembling the pistol so that you can clean it and service it. And um, it's super cool. That's probably the biggest feature. It's super cool. And I feel a little bit cooler just because I have it, not because I'm going to shoot it. So anyway, stick around a couple minutes. We're going to load this up and we're going to put it through its paces and maybe make a little bit of music. All right, I've been looking forward to this. Let's see if we can make a little music. <laughs> that was fun, 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 fun. All right, hey, I need to spend a little bit more time with this, like a thousand rounds, and uh, that should be that should really do it for me. But this has been a fantastic pistol to shoot. It literally melts into your hand and becomes an extension of you. Um, it's a fantastic pistol. The Navy SEALs are well served with something like this, and it's really nice that uh, some of the civilians can actually lay hands on them now, too, because this is going to be a classic. And uh, I want to thank you all for joining us here on Shoot of the Series. This has been fun. We're back at the Mystery Range where we belong, and we'd like to thank you all for helping us get traction and keep the wheels turning on uh, our, our video series. And on behalf of all of us here, thank you much, and you all take care.